What's up, everybody? Jason here for jazbeescasebreaks.com. We just sold out another one of these uh, <clears throat> 2023 Bowman Sterling one box breaks, number three random divisions. And again, guys, free total, uh, free spot giveaway if you buy a spot in this break. So again, guys, dice roll it, and it is a six and a two eight times. Name at number one gets a free extra spot, guys. Six and a two eight times. One, two, three, four, five, six. Seven, eight. Boom, eight times. Six and a two, eight, eight. Jacob, congratulations, buddy. Well, actually, what am I doing? Pacing you on the next one. <laughs> All right, there you go. So eight times now on the list of names and divisions. One, two, three, four, five, six, Seven, eight. Jacob, Donna, Dennis. All right, eight times here. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. NL East, down to the NL Central. So Jacob, NL East, as well as AL East. James with the AL Central. Nestor with the AL West, as well as the NL West. Then Dennis with the NL Central. So there you guys go. If you guys want to make a quick trade, I'll let you guys have a quick minute trade window. If not, stick to what you got, guys. Um, Chad, did I just hear Chris Fowler and Kirk Kirby right? <clears throat> did I hear it? Was it just me imagining or something like that? I heard they were talking about PEDEX and USC and, and Bo, but were they saying that <clears throat> there's a chance that Washington and Oregon can play each other in the Pac-12 championship game? They're not doing North and South this year? It's just the two best records? <clears throat> Or did they just say that they can meet each other in a playoff? No divisions this year. Okay. Wow, that's awesome. What? So, did they decide to change that because of last year, or they just decided to do it for, because this is the last year of Pac-12? Oh, that's awesome then. I mean, yeah, obviously Oregon's playing really well, but no, I, I, I thought I thought it was still north and south again. So that's why I was like, well, there's no chance for that. But if they win out, they can control their own destiny for a playoff spot because if other teams lose. But yeah, well, I didn't even hear them change that. So that's why I was a little confused. But they should have done that last year <laughs> or every year for that matter. They should have the best record for both teams always play. Well, I mean, if you guys want to get into another one after this, we can. Well, whatever. Like I said, it was kind of like a win-win for me today. USC lost. I get to text my buddy Gary. You know, the accountant. I like to make fun of him because he loves USC and I always talk shit about my ducks. So, 
you know, I'll give them a little bit of time and I'll text them later tonight. <laughs> but obviously, I was just like, well, if Washington loses, then cool. But now that I realize that it doesn't really matter if Washington loses or not, that they can still make it, then okay, great. I didn't realize that. Is Caleb crying? I mean, Caleb's probably crying because he knows he has to leave. He has to leave USC this year, right? Because he knows that, like, there's no way he's going to, like, win anything next year with this team. And he's not going to transfer anywhere again. Bro, did you not see how hard they were running, bro? My God, give him a break, Chad. <laughs> you know, but honestly, this year's college football, honestly, it, it doesn't seem like there's a clear number one right now. I think every single team is beatable. Ooh, I mean, that's probably before my time, right? Is that the... Let me see if that's what I think it is before I say it. I'll be honest. Is that the... Is that the... Is that the pick six? Is that the pick six against Washington? Yes, I've seen that video a lot. I mean, that's that's it's understandable. Plus, didn't you guys win like like a year later or two? What year did you guys win in the nineties? Oh, ninety one. Sorry, that was two three years later then. Yeah, I. I started getting into college football in the early 2000s, so Dennis Dixon is what got me to be a Ducks fan. Plus the colors, of course. I love the colors. But Dennis Dixon, baby. Should have won the Heisman, 2007. Why are you really glad about that, Chad? Wouldn't you be mad that they don't have to play anybody so they might stay at four? <laughs> well, regardless, yeah, Oregon needs to take your business next week. They play USC. Let's try the, uh, the things I heard Oregon fans say in my last day. Oh. I, it's okay, Jimmy. I understand that, man. I understand. I mean, it, every fan base and every every sport, you know, just can be stupid and say all these crazy things. And it affects us basically sometimes our whole life. But just know I'm not like that, all right? All right, behind Wolpe is a Gavin Cross to 125 for the Royals. Uh, let me pull up my divisions because I always get sidetracked on my divisions. Uh, Royals. AL Central. Going to Jimmy. Last spot mojo. Well, damn, Chad. I can't freaking read sarcasm through freaking text. But yes, I agree. I was is a joke. You buy Francisco Alvarez gold? I'm telling you, actually, these boxes are only getting get better and better, guys. We're starting to hit some nice stuff. Tamar Johnson to 100. 
That's for the Pittsburgh Pirates. And uh, that's going to uh, NL Central. Going to Dennis. And how about more for the Pirates? The 75, Jordani de los Santos. for Dennis Al Central. There's the Michael Harris. Jonathan Aranda for the race. <clears throat> That's AL East going to Jacob. And then Manuel Beltre. Blue Jays, another one for the AL East and Jacob. Dan George for the Colorado Rockies. Colorado Rockies is part of the uh, NL West. Going to Jacob, that was your free spot, buddy. All right, last one here. Stewie Reese, Francisco Alvarez, Gabriel Moreno, Drew Waters, nice Michael Garcia. That's for the Royals. Casey, I think that was Jimmy. El Central, yes. It's an angel. And it's Zach Nieto for the NL West. Or sorry, AL West, I should say. Nestor. There you go. All right, so it looks like actually everybody might have got something, which is a success for a breaker. There you go, Ness. So Nestor with the AL West. So I think everybody might have got an at least one auto. All right, so there you go. There you go, guys. Another one boxer is loaded to the store, guys. Still think there's some big stuff hiding in here. Let's find out and uh, get another one of these sold out. JaspiesCaseBreaks.com.